offensively. Bases loaded, scoreless. Ball four from John Smiley. There's been a Don Gullett sighting. Marlins up 1-0. It's getting bad for the Reds. Barry Larkin came out of this game. The heel is tender again. He's day-to-day. -day. We're all day-to-day. -day. Bottom of the sixth, 2-1 Reds. Not anymore. Kevin Brown, ding-dong. The pitchers bring in Charles Johnson. And Kevin says, there's no offense crap from last year. I'm taking care of it. Bottom of the seventh, still tied. Sheffield leading off just a bit outside. 13 walks in six games. Ray Knight and Gullett were examining the rental rules on videotapes while they walked Alou to get to Cangelosi, and then they walked Cangelosi, and then they brought in Scott Service, and then he walked Jeff Conine, and that scored Sheffield. Was walking Sheffield a good idea? By the way, Billy the Marlins' head is still missing. Marlins get their third crowd of 36,000. He's more than just a pitcher. He's a fifth infielder. Full extension! Gets to the Dave Clark a chopper. Meanwhile, the Cubs... No extension. Mm. That's Dave Clark. And then Sandberg. Sandberg. Yeah. That's three. He had six errors all last year. Then Mulholland lift off. And Brant Brown cannot scoop the throw from Ray Sanchez. Four errors for the Cubbies. Maddox, meanwhile, he's got that's a called strike, and he knows it. He heads to the dugout. It wasn't a called strike. All right, I'll give you another one, fella. Dave Hansen, gone. Maddox goes eight shutout, wins in an hour and 47 minutes, the quickest game in the majors. This time, bottom of the seventh, though, the A's threatening two on, two out. Scott Spezio trying to get a bleeder, but Bernie Williams is there to keep this game scoreless. Top eight, two men aboard, one out, Tino Martinez. Scott Brocious. The Yanks would load the bases, but not score. Bottom of the eighth, Yanks defense falls apart. Tony Batista, the little dribbler, Jeff Nelson. We all fall down. A's first and third. Two batters later, Conseco. That would be an error. Boggs allows Rafael Bornegal to score. Jason Jumby goes through Tino Martinez. Batista and Conseco scored Tino's first error in 86 games. The Yanks waste a great performance by David Cohn and lose it 3 to nothing. The Yankees had not committed. An and the Brewers already down 2-1. But Ben, the whiff on Sean Green. That ends a Jays threat. Gerald Williams and Joe Carter. Joe Carter got a beat, got a beat, got a beat. It's take home Joe Carter day. Brewers leave the bases loaded. Top seven game tied at two. One man aboard, Jeff Cirillo facing Pat Tinkin. Cirillo pulls one down the left line. Over Green's head. Jesse Levis scores from first. Brewers up 3 2. Cirillo, two RBIs. And the Brewers would win this by the final of 4 2. In his first outing of the year, McDonald was roughed up for of the game. Now it's an American League game, so it was seven to one, and all of a sudden it's seven to six, and then all of a sudden it's eight to seven Indians. Matt Williams bringing home Viz Cal and Jim Tomei, and they're not going to get him. Top of the eighth, uh, we're tied at eight. Brian Giles, Troy Percival, the self-imploding closer of the Disney Angels, touchdown. Giles and the Indians win ten to eight. Rookie lefty Steve Klein worked with Darren Dutch Dalton. Top of the second, Padres leading one nothing. Joey Hamilton. Gone. There he ropes. Dalton's first homer since August 8, 1995, and we're tied at one. Curb your dog. Top of the seventh, tied at two. Wendell McGee against Hamilton, and it's untied. Three two fills. And you know, that would be all that Kurt Schilling would need. Facing Ken Caminetti. Gets the hard slider past him in the eighth. Caminetti. Remember, it's not nitty, it's netty. Okay, nitty. Schilling, eight innings, one earned, seven Ks, no walks. Piazza up, Dodgers down 3 nothing. Fooled on a good curveball and pops it up. Al Martin drawing a beat. Al Martin, Al, no. Piazza would take second, eventually score two batters later. 3-2 Pirates, Todd Hollinsworth, and it's Al Martin again. In front of his friends. L.A. would eventually tie it. It was 4-3 Dodgers in the eighth, Todd Zeal. Well, he's going to hit it where Al Martin can't have any problems with it. Al watches it go out. The Blue Crew wins it by the final of 6-3. to three. Darren first, Bohannon swing and a miss, Barry Bonds. Five strikeouts for Brian Bohannon. Left-hander gets helped by the Mets. Bernard Gilkey takes Mark Gardner into the left field corner. Lance Johnson trots home. 3-1 New York, end of one. And then in the ninth, Mets up 4-2. The Allen bloop. Glenn Allen Hills bloop. Manny Alexander couldn't find it. First and second, John Franco to J.T. Snow. That's uh, five to four to three double play if you're scoring at home or even if you're alone. Bohannon's first big league start since 95. Delivers this pitch. Listen. 
fan just found out that a beer is eight bucks at the Astrodome. Ron Gant brings home Todd Stottlemyre, and the Cardinals lead two to one in the eighth. Then Jeff Bagwell pinch hitting. John Frascatori, the reliever. Frascatori, this. Montgomery scores. Bill Spires are not going to get him. Three to two Astros. Top of the ninth, though. Cards put the tying run on with two out. Billy Wagner, the littlest closer, gets Gant swinging, and it's a final. It's the Cardinals' worst. Facing Rusty Greer. Rusty Greer past the diving Rafael Palmero. McLemore scores four nothing Rangers, end of one. And the top of the second, Cal Ripken. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. His third of the year owes down 4 1. But now we have another injury. Bottom of the fourth, Benji Gill at second. Rodriguez with the single, and Gill. It's an inner thigh injury. So you say, why don't the Rangers go back to Kevin Elster at shortstop? Because he's in Pittsburgh wearing those escaped Baker's caps. Gill was replaced by Domingo Cedeno. Next batter is Greer again. Singles past the diving Ripken. Cedeno scores. Greer, four for five on the day, and the Rangers win nine to three. Orioles on the most. This is Nomar Garshapara during the overnight delivery portion of the game. And I have a phone to pick with that delivery service, but we'll let that one go. Three to one Red Sox, but it's the American League, and there's Griff, and he hit the ball real hard. Two run homer, cutting the Mariner trailing to four to three. Top of the ninth, Red Sox are down seven five. Steve Avery pinch running. The ex Mariner Darren Bragg off the glove of A Rod. Cordero scores. Avery scores. Game tied at seven. In the bottom of the tenth, Rick Trilicek comes in, walks Jay Buhner to load the bases to pitch to Paul Sorrento, and it was a tactical error. The Mariners win 8-7 on the Sorrento, shown in your picture signature. Buhner and Griffey designed the special Sunday voodoo curse, the White Sox. And before we show you our hey now. Bottom of the first, Tony Phillips with a leadoff. Something. It just stuff one. blowing around out there, and uh, apparently it's, what is it, Tony? A double, a triple, and a, it's a home run. His 25th leadoff homer, Sox lead 1 0. Jamie Navarro gets Tony Clark, who had two homers Saturday. And then we had a wind out. Drew Coble says, hello. That's right. They stopped play until the field got cleaned up and the wind died down a little bit. 5 0 White Sox. Tony Clark swing and a miss. And then Alan Levine. Clark swing and a miss. In the ninth inning, Roberto Hernandez going for what we call in the National League a save. And he got one in the American League. Clark strikes out four times.